Hello lovely, so I am back again with you, um, for you, another story today, I'm gonna start over. <laughs> Hello lovely, so my name is Tony, and if you've never been to my channel before, I tell stories and read stories, so today I have another story for you. Also, if you hear the dog in the background, you've probably seen it in the other videos. If not, you should go watch all of my other videos. Um, but you've probably seen it in the other videos where I s snores and I make fun of it or make note of it or whatever. She's probably going to do that again. She's been snoring pretty loudly all day, so... Um, it's mostly like allergy season, so she's having trouble breathing a little bit more. Also, you may notice that my face is lit up. I made a ring light. Anyway. Um, I went shopping and it reminded me of these stories because I've got a couple of them for you today. I don't know why I just did this, but anyway. So, I'm wearing a hat today. It's kind of uncomfortable. But I am not the best cook in the entire world. And this, or these rather, are the reasons why I'm not a very good cook. So, there's plenty more stories than these two, but I'm going to just tell you these two and, and kind of feel it out for telling multiple stories in one video and kind of see how this goes. So, the first story is about a baking experience that I had in the blender and it's fun. So my sister, well two of my sisters, um, Danielle and Anastasia, really like to cook. Um, they're both really good at it and one day they were cooking or baking um, these, I don't know if you've heard of cake pops? But they're little, you've probably seen them at Starbucks if you if you go to Starbucks. But they're little cakes that they put on a stick and they'll usually like dip them in icing or whatever. So you put these little cake balls on a stick and then you've got a cake pop, right? And so my aunt actually bought us this little cake pop maker. Think of like a George Foreman with a tray that has like a bunch of half like bowls in it. So it had like half spheres on the bottom and then half spheres on the top so that it would make a full circle. And like you would put the batter in the bottom and then you would close the lid and it would bake and as it would bake it would fill up the top part of it too. And then you would open it up and take them out and put them on your stick. So I decided I was going to help them with this project, right? And I was mixing the batter for like one of the batches, right? And we had like this I know I'm telling you a lot of different utensils that we had, but this is what we had. It was a blender that had like a, a foot, I guess, so like a foot here, and then it had like the stand, and then the blender heads went like here, and it would blend, and it had like these specific glass bowls that would sit in it and they would rotate, and so it would blend everything basically for you. And so I had mixed everything into that. And I had turned it on and was letting it do its thing, and I was like scraping off the excess around the edges. Well, when I did that, I was like, well, there's a lot of excess on the spoon too, so let me see if I can get it close to the blender heads. Bad idea. So all of a sudden, as I got the spoon close to like the blending heads, the blender just like swallowed up the spoon. It just caught it all at once. And I had, I like squealed and I like grabbed the electric, the, the plug and like unplugged it. But I unplugged it and like had it stop. And the spoon was wrapped around one of the blender heads. And I was like, oh my God, I ruined it. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. But everybody kind of laughed about it, which was good. Um, I think we had to throw the spoon away, but we were able to put the blender heads back like straight. So that was good. And I'll put a picture like right here of what happened because I took pictures of everything and posted on Instagram. It's like why I'm not allowed to bake things. <laughs> so that was just one experience with baking. I have another experience with cooking and why I'm not allowed to cook things in the kitchen unless I'm given very specific instructions. Or it's very simple, which this was very simple, so back to the very specific instructions. So, I had moved into my own apartment, um, and I was living there, this was my very first apartment, and I was so excited to have it. And most of the time I would go out to eat, and I didn't budget my money very well, so I never really had a whole lot of money for food. But this one day, I decided that I was going to buy food to keep groceries at the house. And, you know, 
make, you know, cook my own food. And so I did. I bought chicken breasts and I bought um, breadcrumbs and seasonings and stuff. And I was going to make um, Parmesan chicken, which was one of my mother's famous recipes. Very well known in our family. Like all of us really love this recipe. Most loved. It's her most loved recipe. And so I had called my mom and I was like, mom, how do I make this? So she gave me a list of ingredients and a list of instructions. And she said, it's super easy. You cook the noodles and that's it. You're, you're done. You, you bake this chicken in this particular way. You cook the noodles and you're done. That's it. And I was like, okay, cool. So I got all of my ingredients and I got back to the house. And when I moved out, my mom bought a bunch of stuff for me to move into my apartment. She bought me like trash cans and um, shower curtains. She bought me, you know, silverware and some cooking things. So I think she bought me like a crock pot and some pans and stuff. Um, but anyway, so my aunt also gave me um, some things for the house. And some of those things were what I thought were baking glass baking pan things. They were not glass baking pan things and you will understand why momentarily. I got all of the ingredients together and I started, you know, I mixed all of the the Parmesan cheese and breadcrumbs and I put it, or no, 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 Parmesan cheese and mayonnaise and put it on top of the chicken breast that was thawed out and um, put the breadcrumbs on top of that and put it on my little glass pan and threw it in the oven. And I was like, I'm going to set a timer for this time and when this timer goes off, I'm going to start making the noodles. And then I'm going to set another timer so that when the noodles are done or when the chicken is done and everything is done, I can eat it. Because you got to be very specific when you're cooking chicken because you don't want it to be too raw because then you'll get sick. So I threw it in the oven, I set the timer and I had been watching um, a TV show. So I went back to the living room and I hopped back down on the couch and was watching my TV show waiting for the timer to go off. All of a sudden, I hear this really loud sound, just like, coming from the kitchen. And I was like, what was that? So I get up and I walk into the kitchen and I look and nothing fell. And I was like, okay, everything's good. And I was like, let me check on the chicken. So I open the oven. And I look into the oven, and sure enough, the pan that I had put the chicken on had shattered. And there was pieces of glass everywhere. And the chicken was like, so the chicken was kind of still sitting on a few pieces of glass. But it was also kind of just resting on the like, um, what are, the wire like bars that hold the pan on in the oven, right? I, I don't know what they're called. I'm sounding really stupid right now. But anyway, so I did all of that. I look at it and it's completely shattered everywhere. And I was so mad. I turned off the oven and I called my mother and I was crying. And I said, the pan broke. The pan broke and I don't know what to do. <laughs> And my mom was like, what are you talking about? And I said, I put it on a glass pan and the pan broke and I don't have any food. And she was like, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. She said, just make another one and use one of the metal glass pan or the metal, metal glass. Huh. Use one of the metal pans. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Because I was super pissed by this point that I just really didn't want to deal with it. I just wanted food and be done. And that was it. But so yeah. I did eventually, I did end up making the, uh, the chicken correctly, like the metal pan didn't shatter into a million pieces, so that was good. But yeah, so that was my um, awful kitchen experiences and why most people get pretty skeptical when I say I'm going to cook meals, and also why people are super surprised when I make good meals. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it to this point in the video, I love you. You're the best. If you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe. 
If you know anybody else that would find this uh, video pretty funny, then go ahead and share it. And if you have any ideas for future videos, for short stories, for questions you want to ask, for challenges you may want to see in the future, because that's a thing that I might do, then go ahead and comment. Leave those down in the comments below, and I will like it, and I will comment to it. And I will see you guys in Wednesday's video. Bye!